Ezra Zilker's wife, Cecile, was a philanthropist, art collector, and patron of the arts who was born in Baghdad, Iraq, in 1925. She had a strong passion for the arts and generously supported institutions of higher learning like the Brooklyn Academy of Music, Whitney Museum of American Art, and Metropolitan Museum of Art. Zilker also founded the Zilka Center for the Performing Arts at Wesleyan University. She was an avid collector of modern art, with a focus on female artists, and she was a pioneer in the feminist art movement. Zilka passed away in 2015 at the age of 89, leaving behind a legacy of contributions to the arts and culture. The quill, which was created to resemble a spring feather and was signed Cartier Paris, was studded with several round diamonds and baguette diamonds. Bulgari emerald and diamond ear clips. In one ear clip, a 9.60 carat pear-shaped diamond is suspended from layers of oval emeralds, while the other supports a 9.07 carat pear-shaped emerald from cascading oval diamonds. Ear clips with a silver top and diamonds, old mine-cut diamonds are used throughout, with rose-cut diamonds as accents. To create flowers with cascading filaments, these ear clips design is strikingly similar to two of a set of three brooches Princess Beatrice of Great Britain wore in 1911 for George V and Mary's coronation. Silver-topped gold, sapphire and diamond brooch containing a 60.00 carat oval sapphire, bordered by old mine-cut diamonds, and highlighted by rose-cut diamonds, made around 1840. This item is remarkably similar to a brooch owned by Mary, Princess Royal, Countess of Harewood, and the only daughter of George V and Queen Mary. M. Garrard, sapphire and diamond necklace and pair of ear clips, all pieces are signed Gerard, with the necklace and ear clips. The pieces are of stylized scroll design, internal circumference of 13 and 3 quarters inches, and are adorned with numerous round sapphires and diamonds. Silver-topped gold, emerald and diamond pendant brooch, with an approximately 11.30 carat pear-shaped emerald suspended, framed, and enhanced by old European, old mine, and rose-cut diamonds, and topped by an approximately 11.95 carat square emerald cut. Pair of cultured pearl and diamond ear clips, featuring two button-shaped cultured pearls by Harry Winston that are partially framed by round and marquise-shaped diamonds. Harry Winston pair of fancy intense yellow and diamond ear clips, featuring two 15.24 and 14.22 carat modified brilliant cut fancy intense yellow square cut cornered diamonds, two rows of round diamonds, and additional accents of pear and marquise shaped diamonds. Harry Winston Ruby and Diamond Bracelet 7-inch length necklace with an interlaced design, graduating rows of marquees and round-cut diamonds, and oval and round-cut rubies. Diamond necklace, baguette diamonds are arranged in a graded line, supporting swags of round diamonds.
Diamond bracelet, with a geometric design and three round diamonds weighing 1.96, 1.85, and 1.82 carats each, it was made around 1950 and is further set with round, baguette, and single cut diamonds. Harry Winston pair of diamond ear clips, marquees, and pear-shaped diamond clusters with pendant hooks, from the 1969 era. Emerald and diamond ring, 5.04 carats of emerald cut emerald with graded baguette diamonds as accents. Van Cleef and Arpel's emerald and diamond clip brooch, designed in the shape of a flower, it has an emerald cabochon set round diamond petals and leaves, and an articulated detachable stem set with baguette diamonds. It is signed Van Cleef and Arpels. Pair of Mr. Asset Ruby and Diamond Pendant Eclipse Signed Van Cleef and Arpel's Mr. Asset with pear-shaped portions of caliber-cut rubies, framed and emphasized by round diamonds. Cartier Emerald and Diamond Ring Featuring a square emerald cut emerald measuring 21.86 carats, baguette diamonds on either side, and single cut diamonds on the setting. Mm -hmm. 